What are you doing? Prepping for a robbery. Okay. I robbed a house up in Roanoke Ridge. Robbed a couple of drunken soldiers out near the swamps. <laughs> now, there'll be a couple guys, but nothing too serious and lots of money. Oh, that's always the dream of every thief. Easy money. Tell it. You free? We got some work. Sure. What kind of work? Stage coach. Sounds good. Let's do it. All right. Come on. Let's mount up. Okay. Follow me. It's There's a okay, good spot where girl, we should be able to cut it off northwest of Dewberry Creek. And uh, you're certain this information sound, Bill? After that mess, Cornwall stage, I wanna make sure we're not riding in another army of guards. Yes, I'm certain. So what's the plan? I was thinking a little womanly distraction. I figured that much. But what's the story? Route, number of guards, you know, important details? Just do exactly what I say and you'll be fine, all right? How about we do exactly what Tilly says? I feel a lot safer. Because I've done all the groundwork on this. Next time she brings in a lead of her own, we'll all bow down, I promise. I'll remember you said that. You follow orders, you stay alive. That's what they used to tell me in the army. They kicked you out of the army. They did not. I beg to differ, Marion. Have you been going through my things? You shouldn't have left it out. Can you believe this, Morgan? I don't trust her any more than I trust that Kieran boy. I never have. Running with them foreign boys all them years. She could turn on us Idiot. any minute. Just shut your mouth or I'll shut it for you. You have no damn clue. All right, just take it easy, you two. Get your minds on what matters, so we do this right. Let's cut up through the creek. first picked out for a camp. A dry riverbed? Yep. Who the hell suggested that? My God, I believe. Well, that don't surprise me. So the stage should be coming from over there. What you want me to do? Just act dumb and silly and get the thing stopped. You know, like you do. And what you mean by that? Oh, come on, don't get all precious and stuck up on me now. I don't like your manners, Mr. Williamson. In fact, I think you're an obnoxious idiot. What'd you say to me? I didn't say enough to you, you useless half-man. Half-man? Half, man, what does that even mean? Will you two stop arguing? He started it. Here's a goddamn stagecoach. You doing this? Yes. Come on, both of you, follow me. What's the plan? There's been a change of plan. Yes, you act dumb and get them.
Locked. I'm gonna blow it open. Stand back. We made a right mess of that. We stopped it, didn't we? Yeah, after chasing it all over New Hanover, with God knows who watching. Got it. Right. Let's split up, get the hell out of here. Okay, but you owe me my cut. Don't think I'll forget. I know, I know. Go on. I'll see you back at camp.
Yep. Hi there, mister. You got shit for brain? Ah, can't be bothered. Not you again. Hello. How's things? Good. Glad to hear it. Ah, Mr. Morgan. Talk to Lenny. Ah, okay. Got some weapons you could sell. Always good to see. Hi, Arthur. Well, I'll see you fine people in a bit. Why don't you sit? Hey, Sean. Hey, what's up, big man? How much? What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing at all. I brought... Oh, hello, Arthur. And what's she doing? <clears throat> She's doing nothing, too. <laughs> what exactly are you planning? Just a little light robbery, Arthur. Nothing a serious fellow like yourself needs to worry about. And you need to get Mary Beth killed as well as yourself? Away with yourself, Arthur Morgan. We'd be getting rich, not killed. <laughs> Besides, Arthur, I'm so bored, I'd rather be shot. If you insist, <laughs> I'm in. We don't want you in. We got this ourselves. I've seen you fight, little feller. You can kill any one of us, but I ain't letting you take her out robbing, not without an extra gun. But she'd be acting, not fighting. Sounds good. Come on, then. Let's go rob this. What we robbing? Uh, A stagecoach some fella told me about. Oh, wonderful. Come on, you can tell me more on the ride. Where are we heading? Back up north. It's coming down from Valentine. I know a great spot to set up an ambush. Like you're the lead on this, like you always do. Wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. Hardy, follow me. Thank you. 
like I said, you'll be at the side of the road to flag them down. Give them some sob story. Yes, of course. Easy enough. We'll be hiding up above. Once they're unawares, I'll put in a few shots, let them know we mean business. Then move in fast to hold them up. Arthur, <laughs> I guess you can watch and give us marks out of ten. Right now, you're at a one. Jesus. Can't believe you had to tag along and it's just to keep an eye on the girl. Remember the crap you gave me for turning up at that train job with Marston and Charles? I'm keeping an eye on you, not her. I know she's solid. All right. Very funny. Hey, she's probably robbed more folk than both of us put together. I wouldn't go quite that far. Mary Beth can pick a pocket faster than you can blink, believe me. Let's cut up here. It'll be quicker. First time we laid eyes on her. She was being chased by three real angry-looking fellers. And we thought, oh, that poor young girl getting picked on like that. But she had a bag full of wallets and gold watches. Happy memories, I'm sure. So will you two write about that in your journals? Can we get back to the matter at hand here? My job that I brought you both in on. We're ready, Sean. Yes, keep your hair on. Constant shite these English give me. All right, just over this ridge, there's a spot that should give us a good view of the road. Let's leave the horses here so they're out of sight. We want a rifle with a scope. If you got one, we'll be back a bit from the road. Such a privilege to be instructed by the master himself. This way. See the road down there, Mary Beth? She ain't blind. Come on, you two. This is gonna be fun. All right, Arthur. Me and you will take cover behind that log over there. Okay, you're the boss. Should be coming from the north any minute. You're up, Mary Beth. Well, all right then. You know what you're doing, right? Of course she knows what she's doing. As soon as the shooting starts, get low and get the hell out of there, okay? Of course. Here it comes. I put in a couple of shots to spook them, like, and then we move in. Are you sure about that? Your eyes ain't what they used to be, old fella. If you say so. I spun around out here. My horse ran off, and well, I don't know where I am. <laughs> you must what think you I'm doing? such a feather brain. What's your name, sir? Lawrence. Oh, Lawrence. <laughs> Would you gentlemen possibly give me a ride to the nearest town? <laughs> this is a banking stage, miss. We can't be picking up passengers. Come on, Harry. Nice young girl like that. <laughs> And I'm sure we can make an exception. <laughs> Shut up. I thought you were just gonna threaten him. They seem friend to me. Killing them all, then. 
Well, you really think they were just going to give it up? Anyway, we can talk about this later. I'm going to bust in and grab the money. No, you leave that to me. Fine, fine. I lighten the pockets of our dearly departed friends here. Grab the money and go, Arthur. Are you getting Drive Mary home? Beth. That was a close one. I'm fine. Just remind me to bring a gun next time I go robbing with you two. Hurry up, before we get the law on us. That's a nice take. You did good, Sean. You too, Mary Beth. Hold you. We'll split it up later. We better get out of here. I like how you swan into this at the last minute and then make off with all the money. Split up and meet back at camp. Go! We don't have time to hang around. All right. All right. I'll see you boys later! Yep. for now. Idiot.
Okay. You doing good, girl. Yep. Yep, yep. Who goes there? It's me. Hold still, girl. Come on now. Get you. Hello, Arthur. Once you fought real monsters and got away alive, you head back to land and you count your blessings, sir. Monsters? Monsters.